the kingdom of Lana. By forcefully uniting such cities as Xiangsan, Haripuncheya, Pre, Nan, and Lampang together at its subordinated status, the Lana kingdom became one of the most prosperous and politically and militarily powerful kingdoms in the Thai region. It could be considered as being in the same period with the Sukhothai Kingdom. Many historical northern regions and chronicles had mentioned about the existence of the Ngenyang Xiangsan Kingdom during the reign of King Mengrang the Great. He had extended and spread his political power by conquering and incorporating various city states located around the basin of the Gok River and founded his new kingdom in the city of Xingrai. King Mengrai then attacked and conquered the kingdom of Haripuncheya which was such a culturally rich kingdom. He himself, King Ramkamhang, the great of Sukhothai, and King Ngamung of Priyao had been good friends. Chiang Rai was a strategically unfavorable location, as it was susceptible to attacks from the Chinese armies. King Meng Rai consulted his two royal friends. They jointly sought a strategically favorable location to build his new capital. King Meng Rai then built his capital at a location near Doi Sute. The new capital sat on the riverside of the Ping River. He then named the new capital of his kingdom as Nopuri, Sina Konping, Chiang Mai. He then expanded his Lana kingdom to incorporate other states such as Sipsong Panna, Shan State, Pra, and Nand. During the rule of King Meng Rai the Great, Lana also flourished greatly. Especially in the aspect of culture, Lana people invented the Dharma alphabets to record Buddhist topics. These alphabets were also brought to be widely used in nearby kingdoms, such as the kingdom of Lanchang, Laos, and Sipsong Banna. The fact came alphabets were commonly used for writing secular topics in the Lana Kingdom. This type of alphabet was similar to that used in the Sukhothai Kingdom. The Lana Kingdom also had the Mangrai customary law to create justice for its subjects. King Mangrai the Great and the later kings of Lana helped to foster Buddhism to flourish. For example, King Tilokalat revised Tipitaka in BE 2020. Moreover, King Tilokalat promoted education for his subjects. Many records of important Lana historical events written by Lana monks were found. For example, the Payao monk named Pratratana Panna Thera wrote the Jinna Kalamali in Pali. Other two Chiang Mai monks wrote the Tamnan Musla Sansana. The kingdom of Lana had flourished for three centuries. Its decline came about because of various invasions of the Burmese armies. For two centuries, 
Lana became a subordinate Mandala state of Burma before being incorporated into the Thai kingdom as its protectorate during the Thonburi and Ratanakosin periods. In conclusion, before the 18th Buddhist century, there had been Thai city states and kingdoms spreading throughout the present area of the northern, southern, and central regions of Thailand. These ancient Thai states interacted with each other, either as friendly relatives or as competitors for highest power. The weaker states or kingdoms came under the control of the ones that had stronger or more powerful armies. Nevertheless, these ancient states or kingdoms also shared the same cultural heritage that had survived to the present day. For example, the pastorage of Theravada Buddhism as the main religion, the use of Thai language, and the practices of other Thai customs, norms, and traditions.